Hi everyone, really proud to present this tutorial on my exposed forearm look. This is by far one of my most favourite pieces as it has that wow factor, really makes people double take to see if what they're seeing is actually real or not. If you like this tutorial then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below if you think you will give this a try. So to start off with, I think it's really important to take an outline of where you intend to put this piece. To do this, I'll use a piece of Perspex, but if you don't have this, you can always use cling film. Basically, you want to have something you can build upon so you can keep the dimensions of your piece accurate and mould the design to the size of your forearm. Once you have an outline, I apply a few layers of latex to the area as this creates a film on the bottom of your piece allowing for an easier adhesion onto your arm later on. Make sure that the latex is fully dried before moving on to the next step and if you want to speed this process up, you can always use a hairdryer to dry the latex a bit quicker. To make the tendons, I considered lots of different options. Making them with wax like I had done before, using some plumber's tape or even some long wooden skewers. To be honest, you can use whatever you want. What you really want in here is to make sure that whatever you use, you can make it look like a tendon. For me, I went with a white bin liner, cut this to the right length, and then folded it a couple of times and sealed each time with a little latex, then carefully placed it where it needed it to be. Once you have this in place, the next stage is applying the wax. Now I followed a recipe that I used from the very talented powder. I've left a link in this, to his channel below and I strongly recommend you watch this video if you're going to make this out of wax. He goes through the stages and explains in detail how to create what's known as moulage wax. Also for the colouring he uses cream based paints which work really well for him. I use a shop over in the UK called Hobbycraft and what they do here is they have little wax pellets that are coloured for candle making. This colouring is perfect for making the type of wax I want and getting to the right colour consistency. Once you have your wax, you want to build up the first muscle area. To help with this, I looked online for a reference pic and sculpted the muscle to match that picture. I always apply a little at a time which really helps with the accuracy and can control the work. Next, using a sculpting tool, you want to start to create the muscle look. And by this, I mean a raised centered with the tapered off edges. Again, take a little off at a time and just lightly run the scrape tool over the wax. If you don't have a scrape tool, you can always use a spoon, like a teaspoon, if that's what you've got. You also want to tidy up the edges, and again, I use another sculpting tool to clean this up. Finally, you want to add the fibrous muscle look. I use a needle tool and run this up and down the muscle area. You don't need to dig the needle in too deep, just enough to score the top. Once I've done this, I always apply a layer of petroleum jelly afterwards. This smooths off the edge of the scored area and allows me to see if it's deep enough. You want to repeat this on the next tendon and the muscle area again, taking your time and applying each piece little by little so you can build up enough wax to start with the shaping. Again, if you make a mistake, it's very easy if you've only applied a little to be able to go back and redo it. The next part that I wanted to create was the fatty tissue area that I'd seen on another channel, Elematics. What they do is they create a latex paste by combining liquid latex and flour. By doing this, you're able to create something very simple yet effective. It will give you the ability to mold your piece to make it look how you want. You can also smooth off any edges by dipping your finger in some liquid latex and running it over. This method, I have to say, is awesome and really allowed me to create the texture I wanted. I've left a link in the description below again so you can see how this is done on their channel. I applied this to all the areas where I wanted the fatty tissue to be exposed and again I used a reference picture for this to get it as accurate as possible. Once you've applied this you can always use a hairdryer again if you want to to speed up the process. Once it's fully dried I then applied some yellow alcohol activated paint to give it the coloured tissue look. Now that the two main forearm muscles are complete and I have my fatty tissue done I started work on the darker muscle that's between the two main areas. I didn't want this to be too high as I wanted to show some depth in the work, 
So from about halfway down your forearm, the muscle actually becomes thinner and more lean and doesn't protrude out as much. So you want to again make sure that you're trying to keep this as accurate as possible to the real type of image. So reference pictures, very important. You want to use the sculpting tools again to clean up the edges and smooth out the top. After you've added the final tendon, you can finish off the area with some more fatty tissue if you want. It's important to make sure that the whole area that you're using is covered in wax and you've cleaned all the areas up. The reason why I keep mentioning this is it would be really gutting if you put all this hard work into creating this piece and at the very end you lose the detail and it causes your piece to lose its impact. Now we come to the application phase and this is one of the hardest parts so please take your time. First, you need to take your piece off the perspex or the cling film which you've used. Take your time with this. If you're using a utensil such as a knife, coat this in petroleum jelly so it does not cause the wax to stick to the knife. Once off, you want to apply the prosade or glitter glue to your forearm and wait until it's gone clear and tacky before applying your piece. Once you have it in place, gently push down all areas to ensure that it stick to your arm. Any areas that don't stick, grab some more glue, apply it, let it go clear and then stick your piece down. You want to make sure that your piece is fully adhered to your arm for this piece to really pull through. Now we're into the home straight. The piece is fixed in place and we're ready to apply the scar wax which hides the edging and allows us to create the wound. We can also rough up the top edging of the wax to make the skin look torn. When applying nose and scar wax, always keep to the mantra, little is better is you want to try and smooth it out as much as possible so it gives a seamless look and looks more naturally part of your arm. You can use petroleum jelly to help blend one piece of wax into the next and when roughing up the top areas, coat your tool in petroleum jelly so the wax does not stick to it. Once you've applied the wax to the area and you are finished, it's always good to give the wax a coating of either setting powder or talcum powder. And to give the wax an effect of skin, I use a stipple sponge and lightly dab this over the area. Next, using some fake blood. In my piece, I'm using a thick blood paste for the edging, as you want this to stay in place and not run. And now I'm quite lucky, as the wax that I'm using is actually quite close to my skin tone. Um, however, I still give it a little bit of a, a wash using alcohol activated paints to ensure the color, color matches it as, as close as it possible. Finally, I apply some dark blood to only a few areas on my muscle and add effect. Do not cover your arm in blood as you want people to see the detail you've just spent so much time on. And again, using a stipple brush, I dab a little blood around the outside of the exposed forearm piece. And there you have it, a really gory and realistic piece which will certainly grab anyone's attention. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and again, if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Check me out also on Instagram and until next time, have fun.